الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا وعلى حبيبنا وقدوتنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه ومن تبع هداهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين I am truly grateful to Allah سبحانه وتعالى to be in the company of people who have come from around the country and as I learned from around the world to remember Allah and to remember the Messenger of Allah. We are living at a time when Muslims at the same time we face a number of challenges but we are also presented with a number of opportunities. We are faced with challenge that we live in a world that largely does not understand our deen or our message or who we are, and we are faced with the opportunity to spread the message of La ilaha illallah among people who would benefit from that message. And these challenges are not new challenges. In fact, the Messenger والسلام, lived in an environment where he faced many of the same challenges that we face today. It was not too long ago that there was a situation that my dear brother Naim referred to in France, the Charlie Hebdo incident, which reminds us that hate begets hate. And it was not long ago that there was a situation in Texas which reminds us that hate begets hate. And in fact, our response as Muslims is to oppose this hate that is based on ignorance with knowledge, with understanding, with insight. During his own lifetime, the Messenger والسلام, was faced with people who did not know who he was about, what he was about, and he was faced with a misinformation campaign. But he understood how to address that problem effectively, and he did. It is time for us, the Muslims, to take ownership of our deen and the message of the deen. It is time for us to know what our message was about and what he taught, and to be able to share this message. In this convention, I remind myself and all of us, it is an opportunity for us to learn, it is a chance for us to network, it is a chance for us to meet each other and people we've never known before, but the true benefit of the convention is when what we learn helps us after the convention. So I remind myself and all of us, enjoy the sessions, and retain from it what will benefit us in our lives. Let us make this a practical exercise. And let us take this chance to rediscover the Messenger alayhi salatu wasalam, and to rethink how did the Messenger alayhi salatu wasalam, deal with difficult challenges because he dealt with these challenges successfully. And we have a chance by following his, exam his example to deal with the same challenges successfully. لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنَةٌ There has been for you in the Messenger of Allah a good example. So Allah made the Messenger specifically an example for us to follow. Over the next three days, we will attend sessions, we will have fun, we will eat, we will drink, we will pray. And bi we will come out of it closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In not a month from now, it will be the month of Ramadan. What an excellent time for us to have our convention. I hope to get to know many of you that I did not know before. And I hope to build relationships that I did not have before. And I hope that we will leave this place 
with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala pleased with us in our efforts. I would like to thank everyone who worked on this conference and this convention to make it happen. And I would like to thank those who took time to come to this convention when they could have been doing other things. Because Allah has planted in your heart the love of the Messenger alayhi salatu wasalam and the love of his deen, that that is what appeals to you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala elevate all of us and accept from all of us. Jazakumullahu khayran wa barakallahu feekum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.